outfit of the day. What? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? Basic graphic oh. tee, oh. Levi's, super dirty Adidas that need cleaned. Good morning, guys. So this is a little out of order because I had a little um, video malfunction. I can't find the footage that I filmed before we went into Target today. Um, but basically what I was saying is we're doing our first vlog today. We um, filmed our little trip to Target, which you're about to see. And I also wanted to go to Target because, um, yeah, we wanted to go to Target because we had to get wipes and a few like little things and check out their clearance section because my friend Autumn on YouTube here, she did a video where she went to Target and showed that they had like a crazy amount of clearance, like more than they typically do. And also I want to um, host a Instagram giveaway because I just hit 2000 followers on there. So if you're not following me on there, um, I will put a little, my little handle um, on the screen here and you guys should go follow me on there because I'm gonna post that giveaway um, this week. It's gonna be a Target gift card probably. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to fill you in on what we did like before we went in because I can't find the video that we filmed. Um, Charlotte is out here riding her truck. Riding. because there was like nothing. There was hardly anything in the dollar spot, but we found a couple like cute little things. And the big like aisle of all the Clarence stuff was gone, like completely. There was like a pillow and a couple weird little things, but we definitely missed it, didn't we? We missed the sale, but that's okay. We just got wipes, some Tide Pods, and then a couple 
like tiny things um but we got stuff that we needed what are we gonna do now go back home yes we're gonna go back home probably make some lunch and then zoe really needs to go down for her nap because she's in like a weird thing where she's sleeping a little later into the day um like she sleeps until like almost eight o'clock now so typically she'd go down for her first nap at nine but now she's taking that around like 11 30 um so we're getting on like a new little morning schedule so we're gonna head back home and we'll see you guys there hey guys we are home now from target charlotte's sitting here playing play-doh and i have myself a coffee I did not drink any coffee. Well, I drank a little bit this morning, but I just wasn't feeling great. I've had mastitis, and I don't know, I feel like the nausea, like feverish feeling is just lingering from it. So, getting some coffee in. Zoe is down for her nap. She needed it so bad, she was so tired. But um, I asked Instagram last week, or like a few days ago, for some questions to do a Q&A. Um, just kind of like a get to know me and the laundry fold. So I figured I would answer those questions and just like a few other get to know me questions. Um, uh huh. <laughs> while I fold this laundry. So basically, just some questions to get to know me is um, my name is Carly. For those of you who do not know, your name, her name is Charlotte. <laughs> um, I am 24, and my husband just recently got out of the, you're three, yes, you are. Uh, my husband just got out of the army last August, um, so a year ago, this month, which is crazy, and we decided to move to Florida in May. It was kind of one of those things where we're like, Let's just do it. Let's get rid of a bunch of our stuff, look for a home, and we bought a house here and moved here um, because it's something that we really wanted to do. And I don't know, I just, I can't believe we actually did it. But we love it here. We are settling in. We're about to go through our first like hurricane. I don't think it's really gonna hit us um, we're probably gonna get a ton of rain for it from it this weekend, but that's like my only complaint is I am terrified of storms and we are about to go through our first hurricane. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it's not bad. Duke, it's my dog. Um, we have three dogs. We love our, our fur babies. Wayne and I have been together. That was one of the questions. Wayne and I have been together for, it'll be 10 years. Um, will it be 10, 10 years in February, which is crazy. Um, and we've been married for six as of last April. So, long time. <laughs> and what else? Hmm, what else? We have a three-year-old, Charlotte, and a almost one-year-old, Zoe. I can't believe she's almost one. She's our little baby. Um, some of the questions, I'll start with those, is what is our favorite place that we have lived? So we have lived in, we're from Ohio. Um, we moved there. We moved from there to Alaska. That was our first duty station. And we moved from Alaska to Tennessee, which is where we had Charlotte. And <laughs> we moved back from Tennessee to Ohio. So, and then from Ohio to here. So our favorite by far, as of now, is Florida. Um, I think it's because it's our favorite home. We, this is like our dream home and the weather, just the people, everything. We love everything about Florida, except for the storms. Wayne doesn't mind the storms, but I'm not a big storm person. We loved Alaska. It was, this kind of like subways, seg segues into the next question, um, which is what was your favorite part about every place that you've lived? Um, 
My favorite part about Alaska though was the just everything like besides how cold it got. It's just the most beautiful state I've ever seen. It's something that I don't think we would have ever experienced without the army. Um, and I'm so grateful for that. It is, it's just a beautiful place. My favorite part would probably be seeing the Northern Lights. Um, it's just, it's such a surreal thing to experience. My favorite part about Tennessee was we, I think we made a lot of friends there. Um, and I kind of like flourished in my makeup career when I was there for three years. Um, for the three years that we were there, most of it, I did hair and makeup with a photographer there. She um, specializes in boudoir photography and she's incredible. I'll link her Instagram um, in the bio of this video just because she deserves a shout out so much. So if you're anywhere near Clarksville, Nashville, um, Tennessee area, she is incredible and I highly, highly recommend her um, if you're looking for boudoir or portraits or anything of that nature. Um, our favorite part of Ohio is our family. Um, we miss them so much. That is like, that's about the only thing we miss about Ohio is our family. And our favorite part, I think that's all. I think that's all the places. Um, another question was how did Wayne and I meet and how did he propose? So Wayne and I met for, like I've known him for as long as I can remember. I don't ever remember not knowing him because he's my brother's age. He's two years older than me. And they were always friends. They always did sports together and stuff like that. But my freshman year is when we started hanging out with the same group of people. So, and then towards the end of my freshman year and his junior year is when we started dating and then straight Wayne graduated two years ahead of me and joined the military so my senior year I went to visit him in Alaska where he was um, before like we got married and I moved there he was stationed there already and I went to visit him and he proposed there he was so cute he had all of our letters that we had written back and forth from basic training um, a bunch of our notes and like different drawings we made each other in high school he had all of those like spread out and like rose petals and everything it was it was it was incredibly sweet um, and then he proposed and we got married in April and then we had our wedding wedding in August um, so that is how we met and how he proposed I I would say we've always known each other just because we come from a super small town okay so another question was any more babies and my answer would be absolutely <laughs> um, but it's more like to be to turn to be determined because Wayne isn't quite on board he's very content with the girls which is totally fine but I just say give it a year when Zoe's like a full-blown toddler and he's gonna miss those baby those baby years um, and also like put a newborn in that man's hand and in that man's arms and he will want a baby like ASAP I just know it um, but the, uh, another question was do you miss or how are you adjusting you and your husband adjusting outside of military life um, I think we are adjusting great. We do miss quite a few things. Um, that was another question. What do you miss about the military life? Um, I miss the healthcare. Like, I feel like you don't realize how amazing it is until you don't have it anymore. Um, it's just, it's super easy and it's super convenient. Um, but I miss the community as well. It's so much easier, I feel like, to make friends um, in that community, like when you're moving around to different places, because now being in a new state where we don't know anyone, um, in this like city is really difficult to make friends because we don't have that military community, like that military support of to like make friends at. So I don't know. It's, it's, that's something I miss a lot. But we're both adjusting really well. Wayne is actually about to join the fire. He starts the fire academy 
um, in October. So that will be his new career path and I'm really excited for him. You want that one? Another question was how did we choose our girls' names? So Charlotte's name was super easy. I think we just loved the name, like her first name. Her name is Charlotte Josephine Lewis. Um, we had a few different ones, but her name was, like she was named before we found out that she was a girl. Her middle name is a family name. She is named after my great-grandmother, so her great-great-grandmother, um, Josephine. And Zoe's name was a lot more difficult. My mom basically named her. Um, she told us the name and we absolutely fell in love with it. But she wasn't named until I think I was in my third trimester, which I know some people don't even have names until after their baby's born. But I, we started saying Zoe and we were like, hmm, we really like that. And I loved the name Abigail. Her name is Zoe Abigail Lewis. We heard Zoe, we called her it for a few weeks and then we just absolutely fell in love with it and it stuck and it fits her so perfectly. So I think that is all the questions I'm going to answer for now. I'm going to finish up folding these and then start lunch for the girls because Zoe's done for a nap, but it is almost noon um, and Charlotte and I are getting hungry. I am going to go ahead and end this vlog here just because I think the question part took up a lot of time. Um, and... Yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.